Okay, I'm going to talk about our new tenfold bag, um, how to close it, and then also how to rig it on the Reckless 80 and the Backcountry 30 double. So this is a tenfold bag. It comes with these two uh, connection straps, and um, I use this for my, not only for my tenfolds, but for anything that's kind of long and thin and fits conveniently in there. Um, typically for me, that's my tenfolds, my uh, hand air pump and an assortment of zip ties. I like to have them in here because it makes them really easy and quick to get to. If I need them on the side of the trail. So everything slides down in there. Now the closure on this bag is a little bit unique. We wanted to come up with a closure uh, that was able to accommodate a wide variety of different size tent poles without having a lot of slack at the end of the bag. So this is how it works. It's a little bit different if you have kind of smaller backpacking tent poles versus if you have longer uh, sort of family tent, tent poles. These are kind of small backpacking tent poles. So if you have short poles, you're gonna close it at the top, make sure there's two little pieces of Velcro here, make sure they line up. And then you're gonna roll it tightly like this, all the way down until you get to your poles. Once you get there, take the, two, take the side release buckle on the nylon webbing and connect it across the bag like this. And you want to make sure that the strap is tight enough that you have these two little kind of ears here because that stops the strap from pulling over the top of the bag. So once that's on there, this is a pretty robust uh, closure system uh, and 100% waterproof when it's rolled this way. And you'll notice that there's Velcro, which kind of uh, is hook on one side and loop on the other. So as you roll it, the Velcro starts to connect and it helps keep that roll in place. So this is what the tent pole bag looks like when it's rigged with uh, some smaller backpacking tent poles. Now, if you have longer tent poles, and by the way, this bag's not gonna fit every kind of tent pole. There's some uh, really big tents out there now that have uh, big, thick wads of poles and really long. You know, this is more designed for uh, people that are doing a little more minimalist camping, smaller tents, uh, and shorter poles. Um, if you do have longer poles, you don't have to necessarily do those rolls. Like you'll see this bag, it's made of a very thick material, so it's not gonna really hold a good roll if you only have one or two rolls in it. So what you want to do then is just simply fold it like this. Fold it over, connect the straps over the back, and same thing, you want to make sure that they're tightened to the point where the bag is cinched in a little bit at the top, so you have these two kind of little ears sticking out above the strap, and that stops the strap from coming up over the top of the bag. So this is the Reckless 80. Um, this is actually a prototype I'm playing with here, but uh, this is Roughly similar, uh, probably to the Reckless 80 you have. This is the rear beaver tail, and um, there is a daisy chain. On the current version 2.0, the daisy chain is a little bit longer. On this version, it's a little shorter, but uh, the principle is exactly the same. So you're gonna take your connection straps and run them through this daisy chain, like this. And the second one like that. And then, Take the uh, tent pole bag and situate it against the daisy chain and make sure you take these straps and loop them through at least one of the daisy chains on the tent pole bag, if not both of them, like that. Run the strap through and tighten it up, like that. Same thing on the other one. And then once these straps are rigged, you know, they don't have to be super tight because when you cinch the beaver tail down, it's going to tighten the bag uh, against your Stinger 22 in the center harness. But um, once they're set, you really aren't going to have to mess with them again too much for the trip. You can slide things in and out of this bag without undoing the straps. Beaver tail closes over the top of it like that. And uh, your tent poles stay attached because now the straps are running through the daisy chain on the bag and also um, on the tent pole bag. So on the Backcountry 30, uh, the current version of the Backcountry 30, we have these daisy chains sewn onto the top of the bag, specifically designed to hold tent poles or our tent pole bag. Um, you can see I've just run the two connection straps that come with the tent pole bag underneath the daisy chain. So I'm just gonna take the tent pole bag, put it on top like this, and then run these straps through the daisy chain on the tent pole bag and tighten them down like this.
Now you've got a nice secure uh, attachment and also a really sturdy bag that won't come apart uh, as your tent poles vibrate against the um, inside of the bag. And the beaver tail just connects over the top like that.